Guys, as you know, Netco bagger sealers run off of wicketed bags. I've got a set right here in my hand. Uh, as you can see, there is the wicket piece of metal that runs through all the bags. Now, in order to properly install these, first things first, I want to pinch. You can see these black grommets here. There's on both sides. What I do is pinch them, and I'll slide this bar to where this comes up a little bit. And this, and I'll show you why. This makes it a lot easier when we when we put these in. I'm going to go to my my bag support plate, and I'm going to push down on this. You can see there's a piece of spring steel down in here. So what I do, I'm going to lay my bags prongs away from me. I'm going to push down on that bar and I'm going to push these two prongs straight down to the six o'clock position. And when I do that, now you can see this wicket stand straight up. Now there's a clip right there in which I pop that thing in, let it up, and now my bags are properly installed. Uh, from there, the last thing I do is properly set up my bagger in conjunction with this. And what that means is I slide forward or backwards to allow for the length of bag. Right now I've got a smaller bag. I'm going to slide it forward to where it sits just about even halfway uh, with my emergency stop here. After that, I'm going to go back to my bolts down here and I'm going to tighten these uh, bagger down so it does not move. Okay. Alrighty guys, now we are basically ready for use. I've got my air plugged up, I've got my 110 into the wall outlet. I know my machine is on because I can see my indicator light. Uh, obviously I'm going to cut this on and now you'll see the bags pop up. And we are fully installed. Now, a couple of things, a couple of features about this machine you I've yet to tell you about are safety features and different uh, settings or our guides. First things first, this little knob here, this is your uh, um, knob that basically controls the airflow in which, and I'll show you, I can constrict airflow if I want to, or I can turn that sucker and let it blow full force. Clockwise constricts it, you can see that bag, there's really any movement. Counterclockwise opens that full blast. Alright, there's your first control. This little guy here just changes the spring tension for my bag support. So if I've got bigger bags, I might want to give this a turn, give it a little more spring tension underneath there for extra support. That's all that is right there. All right, moving forward, I've got my safety switch here. Let me move these bags so you can see the whole thing. This whole piece is a safety feature. So at any point in time, if you're not happy with the seal cycle or something is wrong, simply push down on that bar and it'll stop the entire cycle, right? Just like that. Easy peasy. Uh, after that, a couple more manipulations of this machine. I've got a knob here and on the other side. This is the way we adjust the overall bed. So that being said, if I wanted to lower this to allow for thicker garments, you nine times out of ten, you're just going to set this and forget it. You know, leave it alone. You won't have to move it. But if you're feeling frisky and you want to kind of take your uh, seal to the next level, you can. Simply undo these machine or undo these two knobs and I've got full control over this bed. Now the one secret you need to keep in mind is to keep the lip of this bed lower than the seal jaw or the seal wire right here. So I never want to come above that, ever. Always stay below it. So frankly, I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to lift up on this, kind of prop it up on my shin, and we're just going to tighten this down. All right, so that bed is now set. I'm ready to fold. The last couple things I want to tell you about is a product guide. You've got two little pieces here, and they are uh, sitting here with little bolts. And all this does is helps you. You can create a funnel so your product will come in and slip right into the belt uh, to the bed. Super easy. You can adjust these. There's multiple ways you can put them on. I've got a couple different mounting holes. It is a hundred percent up to you where you want to put these things. So that being said, if you wanted to adjust them, you pull them out and move them over a couple holes. You can see the mounting holes I've got here. Like I said, it's totally up to you. It's just another option on how you want to perfect your seal. Last but not least, I need to talk about the height, two things. There's the height of the bed, which you've got an adjustment knob right in here. Same kind of black knob that we've been doing. Simply unscrew that and this now moves. 
So if I want to adjust the height of this for say a box or a little uh, cart or something that you're going to have the wheel shirt to weigh with, or maybe even a 6L if you're going to take it that, that much further, I can adjust the height of this bed to fit whatever my needs are. At this point in time, I'm going to leave it all the way down just for the sake of this movie. Let's tighten that back up and we're ready to go. Last is my stop gate finger, which has the uh, photo I attached to it. This is going to be the way you basically, the length of your seal. I will control that so I can move that seal to as close to the garment as possible or as far away from the garment as possible. And I'll show you that a little in more detail uh, with an actual garment. But I've got a wheel right here and all this does is control the height. So I can turn this all the way up or simply pull here and I can set it all the way back down to allow for large long garments, towels, anything like that. As you can see, I just moved this sucker all the way down. Uh, but today I'm going to be sealing t-shirts, so I'm going to go ahead and run this up. Um, I will give you a little more in-depth detail on how to set this up coming up. Let me go get a few garments. Alright guys, so we've gone over uh, basic installation of the machine. Now I am ready to uh, start setting up my machine to actually seal for the proper size shirts. First things first, what I'm going to do, go ahead and cut my machine on. Look at both indicator lights, I know I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and insert this t-shirt. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to show you how this, this works. This is my safety feature once again, and I'm going to show you real quick. I'm not sealing anything. I'm just going to show you how it works. So, say I threw this shirt and I was not ready to it. Push down. Everything's done. Easy peasy. Let me have it. Now the machine, that's exactly what you need to do. If anything ever goes in, you're not ready for it. Done. That being said, so you can hear me, before I cut my machine on to seal, I'm going to go ahead and take a t-shirt, throw it in a bag as, as shown, and I'm going to drop this down into the sealer. Now here is where I'm going to get the proper seal height. And earlier in that video, I told you I can move my seal closer to the garment or further away. Now here's where I'm setting that up. Now because I'm doing all t-shirts today, and they're all about medium and large, what I'm going to do is put one in the, in the seal here. And I'm going to run this finger all the way up until I get my t-shirt close to this seal wire. That's about where I want to go. Actually, leave it right there. All right. So now I know every single shirt is going to go to that length and it's sealed about the exact same size. So now that I'm ready, we can go ahead and do this. Cut my machine back on. And when I cut this machine or this uh, power on, it's going to cycle through just so you see. There you go. All right, now I'm ready to show you everything. So I've got my machine turned on. I've got my compression switch on because I want to compress all the air out of this before I seal it. I've got my bags mounted, baggers on. I know I've set the height for my seal. I'm ready to run. Let's do it. First things first, easy peasy. You see how these work? These are any horns that make things really easy. Slide the garment in, pull it off. Right. You can see how fast that happened. Now, there is my sealed shirt. Now I want to kind of go into some uh, different different ways yeah. to set this. All right. Um, okay. All right, guys. So we just showed you how to. Uh, Adjust the dwell time, shorten the cycle, lengthen the cycle, it's totally up to you. Uh, but if you play around with both of these settings, you know, one, you can shorten the time, give it more heat, lengthen the time, give it less heat. See what I'm saying? You just kind of play around with it. I set this up as a general rule of thumb for you guys. It works best around five and five. So that being said, five and five. Now I know my preference, I like mine to spit out a little bit faster, that's because it's just my preference. So I turn my dwell time a little bit lower and give it just a touch more heat. That way it spits it out and I promise my seal. Um, that being said, once again, it's totally up to you. The best, best way to start, five and five, dwell and heat. All right, guys, the last thing I want to tell you is uh, I, I have this happen a lot. Initial setup on, on a machine and people call me and they go, 
my seal jaw's not coming down. Everything's working, but the seal jaw won't come down. I'm gonna go ahead and make your life easy, finishing this video up with this very problem. So my seal jaw's coming down, and what that, what that tells me is I have a prox sensor over here. See, I'm pointing at it. Uh, I also have a bar. And the only way this seal jaw will come down is if this prox no longer sees that piece of metal. So if I have, in hindsight, this too low, let me show you here. I'm just gonna cut everything off, take the air off so I can manipulate this, but as you see, I've got the air cut off. Jiminy Cricket. It's like a minute. It won't even drain the air. There you go. Okay. All right, so as you can tell here in this video, I've set it up really low. So if I were to be doing a hoodie, I'd have this major problem. And as you can tell, when I push this down, see how that bar does not disappear? It is still being picked up by that prox. You can get that. There go. All right, so my, in order to make this fully cycle, I've got to lift this up. So what I'll do is I'll have this, I'll lift it up to where now at its lowest position, that bar will disappear. Let me do that for you. And once again, this is the number one complaint we get with people in their initial setup. And it's an easy fix. And loosen all four bolts up, and I'm going to simply pick up on this just a little bit more. Alright, same thing over here. Alright, now that I've adjusted, if I push this down, now you can see clearly that that has disappeared and that prox will no longer see. Now, my seal jaw will come down. So that is your main problem right there when people go initially set this up, that right there. Super easy, super easy fix, and now my machine is gonna work perfectly. Well guys, I hope that answers all your questions and I hope it helps out tremendously. I wanna thank you firsthand for uh, purchasing Netco equipment. Welcome to the family.